Joining us is Dr Ross Walker, a cardiologist, and Michelle Stevenson, Nova National Audio News Editor. Hello to both of you. Thank Hi. you for joining us go. for our final panel. Dr Ross Walker, yep. you're not a fan of daylight saving. No. Why not? Well, I think there's three basic reasons. Number one, it is ridiculous that, say, for example, someone living in Tweed Heads has a business in Coolangatta and has to fiddle around with the hour or people who have to, have to take their children from Tweed Heads, Coolangatta, back and forth. It's it just too confusing and it, it's really ridiculous in terms of travel from New South Wales to Queensland, Victoria to Queensland. I think we should have a consistent time zone all through the year. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, young parents who have young children... The daylight saving, it's so hard to get children to sleep when it's light. So, so you've got all, all of this incredible light. There's children trying to get to sleep. The parents going nuts because their children are not sleeping. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's a very obvious fact against daylight saving. But I think the, the most important one comes in my field, in the field of cardiovascular medicine. Yeah. There is a lot of studies now to show clearly that for at least the two weeks after the start of daylight saving, there's a marked increase in cardiovascular disease. Wow. And, and so why we're mucking around with people's biology by... by ha we already have a big problem with yeah. sleep regularity around the world. Yes. Why make it worse with daylight saving? OK, Michelle, well, you I love mean, it. You say... Yes, and you say, like, yeah. it, mu it mucks around with cardiovascular. I don't think there's a there's a massive um, increase in cardiovascular oh, issues. No, no, I don't no, think no, it's massive. All, no. But as circadian rhythms... Look, time is a construct. We can, we can set our circadian rhythms to however we want to. I think the extra hour of light at the end of the day is very good from a health perspective. We get to go out. We get to enjoy the world after work. I mean, who doesn't love it when it's summer and you've got that extra hour in the afternoon and there's there's a good way to kind of you know deal with those issues between tweed heads and you know the queensland mm -hmm. queensland can just join us <laughs> well, because well, absolutely there is nothing worse than being in brisbane and the birds are waking you up at 4 a.m it's terrible <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? that's a fair point well Ross? look i agree with albert einstein time is a construct i, mean, I, I appreciate that <laughs> yeah. concept. but the, the evidence is very very solid mm that in some studies there's up to a 25% increased risk but for can, heart attack. But there's a study for everything. You can, you can find a study for the reason why it actually is good for you and healthier for you. There's, so there's absolute, think... There is absolutely <laughs> no studies to say it's good well, for you. Well, maybe we need a study. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe we need a study. <laughs> maybe we should have a study. But there are no studies to say it's good for you, but there are studies to suggest that it's bad. Well, what, what do you think and about this first... argument? About this argument, oh, the milking cows. Oh, the milking cows. The because it's fading my it's, curtains, it they say. Yeah, but obviously that's biological I mean, nonsense. And but, I mean, yeah. look, WA, and now they're three hours behind and some would say five years behind. But, like, 20. I think they really need to bring themselves in line. As yeah. a national news presenter, mm. it yeah. is really difficult to deal with time zones. Well, and the half-hour Adelaide, yeah. what do you think? No, I mean, no. with, with relative, I've got my, my family are all in WA. That three-hour time difference <laughs> is an absolute shocker. So, sometimes I've got to say, George, do you like daylight saving? Absolutely. I think, yeah. I think it's healthy for you. I think we, we love going out for a walk after dinner down to Manly Beach and uh, spend an hour. I think it, uh, it's proven that it's, uh, it, 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 it minimises car accidents after work. It makes it. It makes it. Easy. It does. It does. You get to go home in daylight instead of at night time. Oh, that's a good point, Sarah. Do you like daylight saving? I do, yes. and I think the initial reasons for why we've got it are important. So yep. I guess, you know, I don't see that there's a big enough justification to change it. Yep. Like, realistically, like, if you're in Queensland, it's an hour. Like, it's not really that big of a deal. Yep. And in New South Wales, you know, like, yeah. So OK. Robin? Mm. Well, because the clocks are going back one hour, we're actually working or living a 25-hour day today. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. But did you enjoy your extra hour sleep here, Robin? That's the I question. If, if, if you... For night workers, yeah. I think it causes a proper confusion yeah. over timing because it, not everyone works in the daytime. Oh, but there's been so many votes on this over the years. Look yes. at Western Australia, yeah. for example. It's always an overwhelming... No, they don't want to change but, it. But that's because the state is so big. So I get it, like, the northern parts of that state, it wouldn't work, right? Yeah. But the southern part of the state, it, it absolutely would. I get, yeah. like, why Queensland doesn't do it. But come on, Brisbane, it's shocking yeah. in summertime. What I'm saying is that the, the whole concept of sleep regularity mm, sure. is something we don't talk enough about. We talk about sleep duration. We all know we need seven to eight hours of, of good quality sleep every night to be healthy. Mm. It's part of my five keys of being healthy. Yeah. But... 
sleep regularity is vitally yep. important. And the problem with daylight saving is it, it's just another problem we have with sleep regularity with all this social yeah. media nonsense well, and everything else we have to do. Effect. Well, maybe we need a poll. How many people are actually sleeping uh, properly <laughs> at night? But yeah. you've had your say. It is time now to call on the jury. Jurors, does daylight saving need to be abolished? You have 10 seconds to deliberate. All right, jury members, time is up. What is your verdict? Ha! Oh, look, Ross, <laughs> you got one vote, Ross. The rest of you say, no, don't abolish it. Robin, you're sticking to what you said. Yeah. Yeah, you're look, a good man. There you go, Ross. You did it. You've got, you've got one, one vote there. You should have been fantastic. Yeah. Dr Thank Ross Walker, Michelle Stevenson, thank, thank you, you so much for joining us on the panel, our final panel for the evening.